。嗨，大家好，今天我带大家来参观一下 Boxable 这一个建造折叠房子的工厂。可能你们都已经听说 ，SpaceX 和 Tesla 的创始人伊隆马斯克以5万美元购买了 Boxable 的小房子。他为什么对这家公司这么感兴趣呢？今天我们就来到 Boxable 位于拉斯维加斯的工厂一探究竟吧。这家位于内华达州拉斯维加斯的美国住房建筑技术公司，自2017年成立以来，一直在住宅建筑领域引领创新。b o s b o 拥有三个厂房，而您现在看到的这个占地十七万平方英尺的厂房，自二零二一年七月便成了 b o s b o 的第一个生产中心。在这里，房子不再是固定的构造，而是像变形金刚一样灵活。b o s b o 的设计让小房子在折叠的状态下只有八点五英尺宽。方便全球运输，一旦打开，就能变身为十九乘十九尺、三百六十一平方英尺的空间。把小房子像积木一样堆叠连接，就能变成一房、两房甚至多层的房子。现在我们坐上 golf car， 开始参观他们的生产线。This will be the exterior of the casino. A material called polystyrene, and this will serve as the insulation. When it's installed, it'll be about six inches thick. And if you look closely at it, you'll notice all these pre-cut holes and chases that run through it. And that's what makes it very efficient when it comes to the wiring for the casita, which runs through the walls. So these are pretty much all the primary materials we use for the different casita panels. So steel wood beam in the middle. Uh, this is a corner piece. It's mostly for the framing of the casita、mm -hmm. on the on the perimeter. And you might notice we're not using your typical kind of lumber here. Right.、Uh, we do have a supplier that engineers this wood for us, and then we cut it down to the sizes that we need here in the factory. And the reason why we chose not to use common lumber is we just found it's too inconsistent for us to use. It comes in all kinds of awkward shapes and sizes. I'm told that it warps as well. And we really need materials that are more compatible with automation equipment. Automation being the key to reaching mass production. And it's currently what helps us cut our wood and our PVC. So they just stick the materials into it, as you see, and the machine is pre-programmed with instructions that tell it how to automatically cut our materials down to the exact specifications we need automatically. Now over here to the left. We have these large storage tanks right here, and a secondary one in the back, which we use to store a polymer-based glue. And that glue is like a super soft rubber; it's non-flammable. These glue machines will travel down the production line, depositing layers of glue onto the material, black and yellow tape. That is actually a vacuum press. And it works very similar to a vacuum sealed bag, where the panel goes inside the machine, the machine closes shut, and then it sucks out all the atmosphere, which creates an even pressure all throughout the panel. This part of what makes up the floor of the casita. It's about one third of it right here. And if you spot that metallic piece in the middle, that is the steel I beam with the hinge. We are looking at a ceiling panel right there. But if it were a wall panel, for instance, they would also install the power outlet and the light switches at this stage. As you can see, he's doing that right now. And then they would sand it down so that we have a nice flat surface to paint on. At that point, the workers paint the interior a nice color of white. Piece of equipment right here. This will be responsible for both the air conditioning or heating on the entire inside of the casita. You can see right here. And the, the the reason we do this with the roof is so obviously we can get the casita to its final compact folded form. At the that I beam that I beam with the hinge is one of sixty plus patents and patent applications we've filed here at Boxable. 
Thanks to this and other technology, we're able to achieve an estimated shipping cost of about three to $10 per mile. And just like my sample here, the roof has these black rubber gaskets that run the entire length of the roof. It's actually those thick black lines in the center layer over there. But these gaskets become very important for when the roof folds over and closes shut. Panels will interconnect and those gaskets are what help with the water and dust resistance. So it acts very similar to a car door closing shut if you think about it. Station number nine is all about electrical, where we test all of the electrical components and finalize the wiring for the casita. And then we install the roll-on adhesive vinyl flooring under station 10 typically. And then they'll clean up the casita inside and out before the final inspection under station 11, where they pack in the appliances and then fold up the casita. So this is what it would look like when it's folded up and wrapped. So these are ready to what delivery. Yes. If you look over here to the right, you'll notice uh, those are the trailers oh, that we use for, for transport. Yeah. But yeah, to your point, sir, you can connect these or stack them currently up to three. Oh, okay. A three story? Yeah. No. Oh, oh, oh. So the casita is 361 square feet. The ceilings are nine and a half feet tall. And what comes included with the casita is basically everything on the right half when you walk in. All of this is included, and then everything on the other half is not included. So we actually make this little closet divider right here. This closet, we make it, we make that and we may offer it in a, as an accessory or a body on the side. I think this is quartz right here, but the more standard countertops are more like that. So, so we'll see those in the other models. When it's done, it's already inside, so it should be able to just fold it. No, actually, this one, the one's called it separately. It says fixed, it does not fold. Wow. Fridge include? Fridge included. Yeah. Okay. So just the furniture. You 创造出独特的居住环境他们的悬挑式设计已经获得了在全国房车营地安装的许可证达到每天生产十个的目标 Possible的前景令人期待。感谢您的观看。您对这种小房子有什么看法呢？欢迎在评论区留下你的想法。我们下期再见，拜。Bye.